Bowles is here now with the important information. During these uncertain times, you may be considering getting your finances in order or even thinking about your end of life planning. It's a difficult situation to think about, but it is easier than ever. And now you can do it easily without worrying about social distancing. All of us should, should try to do as much front loading of that effort as possible and minimize the amount of anxiety and stress we might cause for our family by not taking care of our affairs in advance. Illinois recently allowed lawyers to meet virtually with clients to create wills, trusts, and health directives. After showing your identification remotely, the documents can be notarized. Most states have allowed this change due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It's important that your plans are in order, even if you are currently healthy, so that no matter what happens, your wishes can be carried out. I really think that people need to get ahead of the, the curve, so to speak, and to be thinking about these issues preemptively before they're beset with any kind of illness, uh, especially in the COVID-19 era where being hospitalized could mean getting physically cut off and potentially cut off from all forms of communication with, with anyone outside the hospital. Hospitals. Jack Newton, the CEO of the legal tech company Clio, says you should also have the person in charge of your estate clearly defined. And don't forget about your digital life. Your digital footprint actually ends up being one of the most painful things for your family members to recover without the benefit of access to your email accounts, for example. There are things you can do right now, like write down all of your social media and bank account apps and passwords, put them in a safe place and give them to a loved one. Make sure your attorney has all of this information when creating a will. You can also find apps to safely manage all of your passwords and other apps, and then you can give that trusted information to a loved one. As for virtual planning, it may be around a while. Some judges even say it could be permanent. Jason Knowles, ABC7 Eyewitness News.